I love working with sharpening filters because Adobe puts so much work behind the scenes to make them easy to use. And that's what I want to show you. Now I'm going to open up that same dude. I think I called him Fred, didn't I? And don't forget the easy way, if you've got access to it, of just dragging it over. What I want you to do first is make a copy of the layer you want to sharpen. That would be this guy right here. We can drag him down onto the new icon. That would be one way to do it. Let me undo that. That's my favorite key in the world, undo. The easiest way to do it, I think, is through the shortcut. And the shortcut is Control if you're on Windows or Command if you're on a Macintosh, J. Don't forget one thing about shortcuts. Shortcuts, according to university study, save you one hour out of every eight hours that you work on a computer if you use them without thinking. This one is the one we're going to modify to make it work as a sharpening filter in a sense. So we're going to go up to the word filter. We're going to use one called high pass. Notice what happens to the image as we change the radius. I am looking for something about like that. The number will be different depending on what you're trying to accomplish. If you use a higher number, it will have a tendency to make the sharpening happen faster. But I would rather apply it in small steps. So something like this. Click OK. Now we have this one and we have that one. Let me move the layers over again. I like doing that. Kind of emphasizes what we're working with. What we're going to do is instruct the computer to blend the two layers together using one of my favorite areas, and that's blending modes right here. And the one we're going to use is overlay. Now check this out if I turn it on or off. Look at that. Subtle hints of sharpness. If we get in bigger, zoom tool, not too bad. Now the control comes in two ways. Number one, if it's not as much as you want it, drag layer one down on top of the new icon or use the shortcut control or command J and it gets more. Let's go ahead and get rid of that one. If you think the effect was too pronounced and you want to lessen it just a bit, change the opacity. And that'll take it back or start to take it back to the original depending on how much you do. Using a high pass filter on a copy of an image that you want to add some sharpness to. It's a technique that has been there for literally years and years and versions of Photoshop, like forever, but it works. 